First of all, you're going to need to know how to configure your network interface cards. On um, Windows 7 and Windows Vista, you can need to know how to go to your start, your control panel, network and sharing center, and manage your network connections to look at your NICs or network interface cards, right? Next thing you know, once you find those NICs, you're going to want to highlight your TCP IP version 4 properties um, and then uh, basically configure your IP addressing. Um, in some cases, in a networking class or um, while you're studying for um, some type of certification, you might need to statically assign your IP address, subnet mask gateway, and your DNS servers. And oftentimes it's automatically configured um, using DHCP. So let's take a quick look at that first. All right, so I will take this and drop this out of the way. I've got a remote desktop connection to a um, Windows XP client, so we can take a look at that. In XP, you just went to the control panel, all right, and right away you found your network connections. Once again, it's a little bit, there's two more steps now with Windows 7 and Windows um, Vista. You have to go to um, your network and sharing center. Um, so you just click network connections, and you can see I have a local area connection. This is my NIC, my network interface card. You can see that it's up. What I can do is I can right click on it and disable it and enable it if I wanted to toggle it or turn it on and off. If I go down to properties, I can um, go down to properties, then highlight TCP IP. With um, Windows Vista and Windows 7, you have to scroll down. There's um, many more tools here that have to be configured, and there's also TCP IP version 6. So if you click on properties, you can see that I've statically assigned. IP address, subnet mask, gateway, which is my router, and my DNS servers. If I turn this on to obtain an IP address automatically, if I do this for instance, then that enables DHCP client, which will automatically look on the network to a DHCP server to try to obtain an IP address, subnet mask, and gateway automatically. And I can also set that for um, DNS as well. So anyway, that's a little bit about the basics there. Let's put this back, or just hit cancel, right? Let's see if we can get that back. Yeah, OK. So anyway, moving on. Um, OK, that was great doing that with um, an old XP client. Now let's try doing that with um, Windows Vista to see some of the differences. So we'll go to Start, Control Panel. And you can see here, I've got mine set to Classic View, but a lot of you might see yours like this, right? So you'd go, OK, I want to go to Network and Internet. And then I'm going to go to Network and Sharing Center. And then I'm going to go to Manage Network Connections. And you can see here that on my Vista machine, I've got a lot more um, networking connections. This is my laptop. And you can see I've got VPN connection. I've got a wireless network interface card. I've got an Ethernet network interface card. I've got also a bunch of um, virtual network interface cards from VMware, virtual machines, and uh, VirtualBox, and some other stuff. So, but my main two physical NICs, right, that are actually built into this machine, are my local area connection, Ethernet, and my wireless network connection. And you can see that I've disabled my local area connection. Now, if I'm not using it, I like to disable it to save that power off my laptop. And we can take a look at how I've got it configured, even though it's disabled. So I'll scroll down, highlight TCP IP version 4, and hit Properties. And you can see that I have a static configuration set for it right here. right? And it um, looks like there's some problems with it. You've got 56.2 here, and then a gateway of 1.1. That doesn't work. So um, let's just set it for example sake. 1, this is not active. So let's say I was 192.168.1.100 with a 255.255.0 subnet mask, and my gateway is 192.168.1.1, and then my DNS servers, let's say, are 192.168.1.1, also the same as my router, and then um, for, let's say, for uh, DNS, I'll just use 8.8.8.8, which is actually Google, and click OK, and click Close, and so that's manually configuring my NIC. And what I can do is I could, um, you, oh, you can see it's not disabled. It's actually just not connected. The port is, doesn't have an Ethernet cable um, connected to it. I could disable it right there. Now it's disabled. And now it's enabled. 
so it should show up if we do an IP config. All right, so let's do that. Let's run an IP config. We'll open up a command prompt, and we'll run an IP config. And you can see you get a lot more information with all those different um, adapters, network adapters. And you can see there's my um, IP address um, showing up. Let's see here. Ethernet. It's disconnected. There it is right here. Ethernet adapter, local area connection, media disconnected. So it didn't even show us the IP address. But there's my wireless, and my wireless shows an IP address, shows a gateway. And even though there's a lot more information here, even though there's a lot more information here, it follows the same principles. An IP config, I get my IP address, subnet mask, and gateway. And if I want more information than that, I can type an IP config slash all and I can get more information alright so same principle and then there's more information alright same principles at work with a Vista machine and if I go back to this network connections window for my Vista machine and look at my wireless connection and look at the properties you can see I'll scroll down to TCP IP version 4 go to properties once again that it's set to obtain an IP address automatically and DNS server automatically so this is basically running my DHCP client on my local machine so that's how we get automatic addressing if we have a DHCP server available on the network this host this computer my laptop should pick up IP address information as well as gateway and DNS